one, and. Let me break down these first two phrases of the Luli Gavat. So you'll notice that um, I actually ended on the first note of measure eight. So you, if you notice these little slashes, those are called sejura or train tracks. People will call them train tracks. Okay. The sejura means that's where the phrase ends. We're actually going to stop there. So there's like a little pause. So that's where the phrases end. So measure one is actually the third note. Those first two notes are a pickup, okay? And then measure one is that third note, the E. It's the second E. So I would break this down probably into four sections, and then I do a additive strategy. So here's what I would do. The first section would be this much. And that's just the pickup, the first measure, and then one extra note. Then, so I end on the C. The second section we'll work on is measures two and three, starting on that C. And going all the way to the first two notes of measure four. All right, so that'll be the second section we work on. Then we'll do the third section, which starts the same way as the first. It's the second half of measure four. So that's the same. We'll practice it again anyways. And then the last phrase would be measures measures six, seven, and the first note of eight. So measure six. And so let's break those down into four sections. So section one, we'll do an additive strategy. I think we could do maybe one beat at a time, but let's start with the first two beats as our first. Make sure those are really staccato and they use a lot of bow. I'll do each part twice, and then I want you to pause the video until you can really do it well before you move on. So again, let's add one more note. You'll notice the third note does not have a dot on it. So the third note needs to be long, legato. The first two notes are really staccato, short. So here we go. Ready, steady, first two notes. I'm at three. Let's add one more beat. This is where a lot of people get um, tripped up. They use too much bow for the eighth notes. So make sure the eighth notes are really little. So repeat that until it's really comfortable. You can also, if that's too hard, just go and just do the run pony, okay? Once you can do the first four beats, We'll add this up, up. You'll see after the first set of eighth notes, we have two staccato notes slurred together. So that's a D and an E. Those are both gonna go up bow. Okay, I might practice that a couple times. I use one section of bow when they're, when they're slurred together like that. Okay. Once you can do that, then you can put together the first section. Do that again, ready, go. And then we'll add the last note of that section, which is the first note of the second measure. Let's go all the way from the beginning to that note C. One, two, ready, go. Ready, and again, go. Once you can practice that, once you can play that, practice it at least five times so it's really solid. And then we'll move on to the second section. The second section starts in measure two on that note C, and we've got a lot of run ponies. So let's start with that. Play that until you can really, really play it well, and then we'll add one more note. So start at the first tape and end back there. Ready, again. I'm going to add another beat. Ready, and. Make sure your eighth notes are stay staying small. Ready, and again, measure two. 
Let's add one more beat. Ready and measure to go. Ready and again, same thing. All right, now we'll go all the way. Uh, we'll add one more beat. Ready, steady, six beats, go. really a lot of the same fingers it's easy to get lost so again six beats ready and same thing adding one more note ready and seven beats ready and again seven and all eight beats That was measures two and three. I'll do that again. Ready and measure two. And let's just add the last two notes. Okay. So this is the second phrase, starting on measure two, all the way to the first two beats of measure four. One and two and. Let's try that again. Ready and second time. All right. Once you can play that second phrase, you have a choice. You can either play the first two phrases together or go right on to the third phrase. I'll play the first two phrases together so you can hear it, and then I will play the third phrase. So here we go. One, two, beginning is. And again, go. All right, phrase three starts in the middle of measure four. It's the same as phrase one. Let's just play that again. I won't break it down this time, but practice it again. Ready, and phrase three. Okay. Play that at least five times until it feels really good. Um, and then the last phrase, will break it down. So the last phrase starts in measure six. Starts the same. Do that again. I'll add one more note. Here we go. Ready, go. You'll notice that third one is staccato, so you have to move the bow faster. Ready, and I'll add another note. Now this is all of measure six. One and measure six. One, two, again, go. Now we're adding one more note. Ready and measure six. Ready and again, go. Ready and one more note. Ready, same thing, go. Ready and one more note. Ready, and same thing. Now right here, the next note we're going to add after this is G sharp. So make sure you can play that in tune. And have your fourth finger right next to it ready because that's going to be the note afterwards. So I put my third finger down, my fourth finger is touching it, and it's ready to go right away. It's going to be right next to it. Let's go all the way, measure six and seven, stopping on the G sharp. Here we go. One and two and. Ready, same thing, go. Right. 
at any point, pause the video, make sure you're repeating things at least five times so they feel really good. And now we'll add the very last note of this section and we'll be done with the video. So here we go. This is six, seven, and, and the first note of measure eight, which is where this phrase ends. So here we go. One and measure six. Half notes. Okay, make sure you slow the bow down for the half note. Here we go. Same thing one more time. One, two, measure six. Beautiful. So now I'm going to put together the third and fourth phrases. This starts on the fourth measure, the third beat. So the open A in measure four is where I'm starting. One, two, here we go. And same thing, go. put together the whole thing. So first four phrases. One, two, beginning goes. I hope that helps. You can go back to the beginning and hear me play it again. And please let me know if you have any questions. Talk to you soon. Thanks for being great students.